Good morning, everyone. Welcome back. We are here today with Simon and Tillman Fale from Systemic. We had just had a wonderful conversation with him, um, and we're, I'm excited to talk to you too about what you thought. Um, Tillman, you dropped a lot of interesting bits of information, whether it was Second Life or Circular Economies, all things that I'm ready to pick your brain on a little bit more. Um, I think Simon is too, but uh, we, we'd love to hear from you. What did you think about our conversation and some of the points that were brought up um, through the questions? Yeah. Um, yeah, th thanks, Bavia and, and Simon, Simon for, for re-inviting me here on this reflection. And I really also thoroughly enjoyed the conversation. I think it was a great group. Um, like the whole whole range of things, right? Like all the way from super deep industry knowledge and straight basically from uh, from the ground, you know, where the investments are happening, where the technology and the innovation is happening. So like there was an amazing group as well. Also, so I was um, like really admiring the um, dedication of so many of, of our discussions, as well as the emotional level that, you know, that, that really showed the complexity um, of the whole sector and how fast it's moving, uh, how much stuff is evolving all the time, and also the, the ch challenges associated with it, right? Including all the way to the impact that it will have on, on the environment and local communities around the world. Yeah, so I, that was really quite inspiring to me. Simon, any thoughts? Uh, thank you, Thurman, also so much for, for being part of the session and sharing your insights, you know, especially on the circularity and you know, the sustainability of EV batteries is a really important topic. And I really enjoyed also having your perspective as well from the other participants. And I think two things which really also stood out for me. One was, um, you know, we nerded out a bit on like different chemistry, like NFP and memory effects. And I remember we had like some things and we also had some afterwards discussions and some of these implications. So I, I really enjoyed that it also went really in depth in some of it. But then we also had really you know, relevant discussions, which are very timely, for example, about um, energy storage, you know, through um, or like, you know, okay, like new players in the field like Tesla with Octopus AB, something the, the story also you shared, you know, they're, they're partnering now and offering here somewhere in southern Germany right now where we're both based. So I think it was also quite nice to have this kind of timely developments covered. And just like also really appreciating, right, the, the complexity of, of this topic, you know, I think. As you mentioned, there were some, you know, emotional contributions as well. And I think it's it's justified, right? We're talking about raw materials, talking about supply chains, things which still have to be figured out, um, especially some of them more than others. And but also kind of really talk about, you know, all those amazing opportunities which are out there, right? Like all this progress happening, as you said, all this, you know, really great people enjoying this field and really trying to push it forward. So and I really enjoyed it again. It was one of these sessions which has so much, you know, just so much response from the audience. I think we had lots of, in the end, you know, it was so hard to, to close the session again. So I really enjoyed it as well. How about you, Bavia? Well, I, I mean, the things that stuck out to me were Second Life and Circular Economies, probably because that's where I've been working for the past uh, year or so, and a bit more um, on the academic research side. And, you know, you tackled you uh, in a very large group setting tackled the question of second life. So I appreciated that. I think um, whenever it comes up, it's always like, well, there's two groups. I mean, you know, there's a, you're, you're on the fence. Um, and it's, it was interesting to hear about um, systemics kind of solution-based approach to a lot of the problems that we were talking about. Um, I guess in particular, and then now I pivot. So again, in particular with circular economies, I think, um, where do we only think about I mean, one thing you mentioned that I found interesting was not only thinking about the circular nature of you know after batteries end of life like not just after recycling but also like throughout the process it was slipped in there and I appreciated that and that was something um, that I maybe have thought of a little bit but this really called my attention to it um, so I really I, I appreciated some of those points uh, that you mentioned yeah, that's it's. Um, I'm glad that that resonated with you. And and to be honest, it's something that you know I'm I'm constantly learning, like every day, and and reflecting on also the work that we've been doing, right? And with innovation, also that that comes this learning where you revise your opinions and and understandings of the world, and especially in the battery field. I think um, it's been such a joy, also. To, it's it's humbling how you think you're quite an expert and you have an idea of the world, and then 
you know, there's innovations and announcements of, you know, stuff have, coming out where, you know, the, you know, the announcement of CATL on that sodium battery, will it be commercialized? You know, who knows, but it's, it's a big company with big commercialization abilities. And if that, if they actually pull it off in the next couple of years, like much of what we've been talking about and you know, the projection of technologies and the resource needs and circularity may be well obsolete in five years time. It's, it's such a fast moving place. And at the same time, you pointed to the uh, end of life or like say battery life length um, issue and, and what, what that implies for be it climate mitigation, uh, be it for, for um, investing into circular economy measures. It's, it's just in such a rapidly moving space. And at the same time, uh, there's a really urgent need for you know, decarbonize with the recent IPCC report, putting that so bluntly, it's just like, it's, we really have, we don't have time left at all anymore, right? So we need to move fast. So measures that happen in 15 years time, in a way, you know, why are we talking about this? Well, in, in 15 years time, we're gonna still have, or again, have a horizon of another 15 years time. And so obviously it's important now to, to prepare for it. At the same time, we need to act like what what's happening right now in the production or right now in the application of these uh, these, these innovations. And yeah, so I find that is the fascinating part about it. And I really loved the uh, yeah the discourse with the group, you know, um, the deep knowledge we mentioned it because it really moves away from this, you know, well there could be this or that, but really goes into the practical applications that we have. Yeah, so amazing discussion. Thank you so much, Tom and Jan, very much agree. And also, thanks so much also, as you said, you know, because we have done quite a bit of work in this field already. We you know, mentioned all battery lines and you know, other reports and circularities. And I think it's also really nice to, you know, it's, it's so important that we have these discussions, you know, and to learn it from each other, build on each other's work, you know, because on the other hand, it's moving so fast. But there's also a lot of really amazing things happening. And I think it's, it's so important that we have this dialogue that we're, you know, trying to, as you say, speed up by learning from each other, building on each other. And um, that's something I also really, really enjoy every single time. So thanks so much for, for doing that. And maybe also the one question would be from my side, looking at time, um, you know, that's our new favorite question. You know, maybe some of the other people you would love to hear from in a future session as well, because, you know, we're always looking for, for other, other thoughts. So if you have anyone you think, you know, you should try to bring on in a future episode. <laughs> um, so I'll, I'll give you three, three angles to that. Um, one, on the inherent or like like hardcore circularity, I'd be super keen to hear from uh, redwood materials like Javis Strobel's like recent push on really driving uh, high quality battery recycling. That would be really inspirational. Second, uh, on the you know starting at the front, I think vehicle to grid and charging infrastructure integration um, that is a, is, an, is a topic that you know that ecosystem perspective on batteries that I, it's just so deep and such a huge topic that I'd be keen to hear of uh, of, of experts in the field. I don't know such as uh, Zonen or next next uh, next Kraftwerk uh, people that are actually integrating batteries uh, as we speak and do smart charging or from the OEMs. And then thirdly, uh, the politics side of things, right? The commission's uh, battery uh, regulation draft. I think that's such a seminal piece of legislation uh, that's hopefully going to pass in the next month. And learning more about that and, and really discussing with industry, right? What impact that will have, Very that would be enlightening. Very much agree. We will try our best. <laughs> I, was, I was like, Simon, I think we have our work cut out for us. <laughs> Exactly. Like, about... Wonderful. Thanks for sharing those names. Wonderful. Yeah. So I think, you know, with this, we're probably going to, you know, maybe close today's session. I'm um, with an outlook. We're going to have quite a few more. So stay tuned for, for the next ones. Maybe also one quick plug for our battery day, you know, where lots of us are going to be involved as well on the 23rd of September, because there again, we're going to summarize, you know, all these trends from the past year and relate to like, you know, industry, but research as well as policy. So I think what you just described, I think these different perspectives is definitely something we're also quite looking forward to have there. So if you're interested, look at it as well. Wonderful. See you then. See you then. Thank you. Bye-bye.